In this video, we are going to um, learn about some accessibility features that will make your iPad life just a little bit easier. So here we are in settings and I have selected accessibility. Now, up here in the second section that is physical and motor, I want you to see where it says touch and we're going to click on that. And then we're gonna come up here to assistive touch. And you're gonna to wanna to highlight that. And then you're gonna to wanna to toggle on assistive touch. Now, you can customize um, assistive touch to do a multitude of things. You can specify keys to do certain tasks, all kinds of options you have, but a couple very important ones that we're gonna focus on today are these right here. So, um, you saw that when you toggled on the assistive touch, you got this highlighter tool that you see moving around on your screen. This is going to be your assistive touch button. Now, right here on custom actions, you can assign to where if you single tap your assistive touch button, it can do any of these tasks. I'm choosing to keep my single tap for my assistive touch button to have no action because a single tap on your iPad is an action that you're going to do a lot. And so I would not want to accidentally have my iPad complete a task for just a simple touch. Here's where I think this um, can really help your job in the classroom. You know the number one rule, if your electronic device is not working properly, um, troubleshooting, you restart. So for the double tap, I would highly suggest you say that a double tap on this assistive touch button is going to prompt you to restart. So if I double tap, it's not going to automatically restart, it's going to prompt me to answer do I want to or not, okay? Here's my favorite, the long press. If I choose to um, touch and hold, I just took a screenshot. This is much easier, see screenshot right here, than trying to have perfect coordination in pushing the um, up air or the up volume and the on and off button. So I hope you found those accessibility features helpful. And if you'd like to use them, please feel free to set your iPad up with assistive touch.